Hey guys, what's going on? This time we're going to be talking about Tyler from Tundra Tactical single-handedly disarming Antifa. Coming up. Thanks for swinging by guys. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, one of the best ways that you can do that is sharing this video. Obviously the next thing that you can do is give me a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, I'd consider you guys doing that. That would be awesome. Okay, so this time we're gonna be talking about a video that was sent to me by one of my viewers. So I really do appreciate that. And basically what this is, is a video from one of the uh, riots or demonstrations out of Seattle in which a Antifa member was disarmed by a Good Samaritan. <laughs> the funny thing about this is that the Good Samaritan uh, seems to be a doppelganger for Tyler at Tundra Tactical. So we had a little bit of a fun with that last night on my live chat. If you guys are interested in checking that out, you can do that right here or I'll post it at the end of the video. All right, so let's talk about this. I kind of wanted to break this down and talk about the whole situation um, because I, it's good to see that someone kind of took action and you know hopefully tried to make a bad situation a little bit better, but this situation could have turned sideways really, really quick. So let me set this up. Uh, obviously, there is a lot of demonstrations, riots, and looting happening across the country right now. And in this particular video, I believe it's coming out of Seattle, uh, it appears to be some Antifa members basically looted a police squad car, stealing some of the firearms that was in that vehicle. Now, a good Samaritan saw this going down and wanted to make sure that no one was hurt because of this and immediately took action, went over to the Antifa member, pistol drawn and disarmed the individual. Once that was completed, he then rendered the rifle safe and it seems that all was good. Now, from my perspective, um, I hate to say this, but I, I would be very, very hesitant about interjecting myself into that situation. Naturally, I have family, I have a little one that I need to take care of, and if I want to make sure that I'm able to protect the people that I love, then I need to make sure that I'm making smart decisions. Now, this individual may have been put in the situation uh, without his uh, wants or desires and realized that he needed to take action, so I do applaud him on that. I don't know the background of this individual, so I can't say that the Good Samaritan uh, was taking matters in his own hands, even though it seems like he was. But first and foremost, if you're in a major metropolitan area and you can get out with all of the bad stuff that's going on right now, by all means do so. If you're stuck, totally understand that. Do the best you can to be safe. Now, the next thing I will say uh, that is a very, very good situation in this video is that the Good Samaritan uh, executed violence in action. And what I mean by that is not that he went and harmed someone else. Violence of action means that you have a plan and you execute it as fiercely and as quickly as possible, right? So this guy made a decision that he was gonna go over and disarm that Antifa member and didn't stop. He went after it and basically kind of ambushed or surprised the individual and was able to pull that rifle away from them and then render it into a safe condition. So if you decide that you are going to take action on something, then you need to execute violence of action. You need to go in, <laughs> I hate to say it, guns a-blazing, not, not that way, but you need to go in mindset focused on exactly what's going on. Once you're able to execute your objective, then you need to pull back, get off the X, and start looking around to make sure that you're not going to be ambushed uh, along the way, right? So that's the next thing. And then finally, I would probably say that if you're in that type of situation, one of the best things that you can have with you beside your firearm, if you're a CCL, uh, concealed carry license holder, is your cell phone. The very next thing that you should be doing right after you disarm something like that is you need to be calling uh, for help from law enforcement. I know it's probably not going to happen, especially right now in large metropolitan areas, but it is a situation where you probably should look into making, you, making sure you have some backup. 
uh, Lone Ranger stuff is not going to usually work out the best for you. And in this situation, if that Antifa member knew how to utilize a rifle, knew how to utilize an AR-15, that could have gone sideways really, really, really quick for both parties, right? Uh, that Antifa person could have turned the rifle on the Good Samaritan or uh, the Good Samaritan could have uh, pulled the trigger a couple times and unfortunately uh, we would have lost someone regardless of the situation, regardless of um, their their mentality or their, their political stance. The loss of life is tragic no matter what. So let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. What would you guys do? Would you interject in this type of situation or would you kind of allow the people who should be dealing with this to take care of it, like law enforcement? I don't know. Uh, obviously, every situation is kind of a uh, situation that you're going to have to assess on your own, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below, and if you guys haven't already, go over to Tundra Tactical. Subscribe to them. Give them a good time about uh, this video. But that being said, we're going to get out of here. Thanks, y'all. Freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Bye, y'all.